Hello everyone, I'm Kunal Sodani from Global Trading Center, Shenan Bank, India. And we are here with another episode of Understanding the Global Factors, Unwinding and Unfolding the Domestic Trends and Breaking Down into Several Currency Pairs. First of all, talking about the domestic factors, let's understand the most important thing that is flows. So if we talk about equity flows for the month of May, it has been negative to around 5,000 crores. If we talk about the debt flows, again, it is negative around 1,000 crores. If we talk about the April month flows, uh, they have been negative overall, you know, taking into account debt as well as equities to around 16,000 crores. And also, if we talk about the annual 2024, uh, still equities have been probably flattish to negative, we can say for around 2,000 crores, while uh, the only positive aspect was a debt because we had seen an inflow of around 43,000 crores. Uh, so that is a positive from the debt perspective, but equity has been flattish for the year till now. Uh, and obviously due to elections uh, and a lot of talks around number of seats due to which the markets have been quite jittery and volatile. Uh, as in when we approach near the exit polls, uh, this market may possibly remain uh, volatile, particularly Nifty, Bank Nifty. So if you talk about Nifty levels, around 21,700 will be a very crucial support from your own. Uh, while for Bank Nifty around 47,400 odd levels. Uh, but coming to what is happening, you know, apart from the flows perspective is let's understand the FX reserves because the way dollar rupee has been moving near highs, uh, not closing there, but obviously just being staying in a very narrow range of maybe 8340 to 8355. FX reserves have pulled off a bit. So the all time highs was around of $648 billion. Uh, since last three consecutive weeks, we have seen decline in the FX reserves to the tune now currently standing at uh, $637 billion. Uh, some kind of intervention definitely has been seen, you know, on the uh, dollar rupee pair, which is holding at 83.55 levels. Uh, but it's it's important to understand, uh, you know, till what point we are able to intervene or, you know, what kind of geopolitical factors also slide in. So uh, that's the reason possibly we are maintaining this uh, narrow range at this point in time. Uh, also, if you talk about the global factors like what's happening with the Fed, uh, where if you talk about speakers like Kashkari, uh, other speakers like Thomas Bakken, uh, they have been quite hawkish where, you know, they still seem that inflation, uh, you need a couple of more prints, you know, on the right side where it gives more convincing power for rate cuts. Similarly, Powell in his FOMC speech was also quite cautious. Uh, which is again keeping the dollar index in a very quite uh, you know narrow range of around 10480 10475 on the left while 106 half you know that was a near highs so this broad range play is taking place but in case if we are able to break that 10475 mark then technically we can see 10420 as well while on the other hand brent crude prices have been consolidating uh, between 82 dollars to 85 dollars per barrel uh, it finds a very strong support around $80 per barrel while a resistance at $87 uh, dollars per barrel. But this consolidation may continue for some more time. Uh, election results, as we see, uh, will be remaining a key jerk, uh, maybe an important event even before the election results are out, even for rupee at times. So one needs to you know keep a close watch on the feeds coming from that perspective. Uh, geopolitical issues have just cooled off, but they cannot be ignored, uh, particularly with respect to the Middle East. So one has to take cues from it. Uh, Bank of England policy, we are expecting a status quo, where for the ECB policy uh, was again a status quo for us. So I think the straight uh, cut trajectory overall has been moving towards August, September uh, for all the global central banks. Uh, so that uh, rates uh, part has been just moving, le uh, moving towards the uh, end of the trajectory of the year. Uh, while uh, if we talk about uh, the dollar rupee pair per se technical levels, uh, as in as in the narrow range of 8340 to 8355 may continue, but a break on a closing basis above 8355 can open doors towards 8372, which is the NDF highs, while a closing below 8340 can retest 8315, 8320 levels as well. So that's all from my side, friends. Uh, hope uh, you guys found this insightful and wish you a very happy trading and investing session. Thank you so much, all.